Hello dear friends, it's hearty welcome once again. Dear friends, in our today's lecture, we are going to start the study of new area in this chapter that is circulation in animals. First of all, let us talk briefly the meaning of this term. What is circulation? Survatila circulation ya shabdasa arthe kaya hoto he thodkya dali apne samjhunge. Very simple. Circulation is nothing but the transportation of different materials from cell to cell or tissue to tissue or from one part of the body to another part. And the circulation is considered as the most basic and essential requirement in almost all living organisms. It means the circulation transportation of different materials is seen ranging from microorganisms in plants as well as in animals. Here we people have to discuss basically about the circulation in animals. I said just now circulation is nothing but the transportation of different materials from one part of body to another part. सर्क्युलेशन याचा अर्थ अगदी सोपा आहे सर्क्युलेशन म्हणजे वेगवेगळ्या पदार्थांची त्या सजीवाच्या शरीरामध्ये एका भागामधून दुसऱ्या भागाकडे वाहतूक करणं वी नो दॅट ऑल ॲनिमल्स टेक ऑक्सिजन अँड न्यूट्रियंट्स फ्रॉम देअर सराउंडिंग दिस ऑक्सिजन अँड न्यूट्रियंट्स टेकन फ्रॉम सराउंडिंग इज ट्रान्सपोर्टेड इज कॅरी अप टू each and every tissue cell where that oxygen and nutrients are used to carry out different metabolic activities and due to metabolic activities whatever different wastes are generated they are again carried back to certain parts of body some specialized organs of body from where they are expelled outside the body it means that in animals for the transportation of certain useful substances such as oxygen nutrients hormones vitamins whatever it may be as well as for the transportation of different waste products such as carbon dioxide different types of nitrogenous toxic waste products produced during metabolic activities are needed to be transported from part to part and it requires certain medium now in animals this transportation or circulation is carried out with the help of fluid medium certain fluid medium pranyamade he circulation he transportation vegvegla padarthanchi vahatu vishishta asha kuthlya tari drava padarthacha madhyamatun keli jat aste फ्लुईड मीडियमच्या माध्यमातून केली जात असते आणि म्हणून आपण असं म्हणू शकतो की द ट्रान्सपोर्टेशन ऑफ डिफरंट मटेरियल्स विथ द हेल्प ऑफ फ्लुईड इज नथिंग बट द फ्लुईड सर्क्युलेशन फ्लुईड सर्क्युलेशन बिकॉज हिअर द सर्क्युलेशन ऑर ट्रान्सपोर्टेशन इज कॅरीड आउट विथ द हेल्प ऑफ सर्टन फ्लुईड नाव दिस फ्लुईड सर्क्युलेशन is of so many different types in animals but basically there are two main types of fluid circulation pranyan madhe asankhya vegvegla prakar che fluid circulation che prakar ani upaprakar adalta pan fluid circulation che don pramukh prakar padle jata such as intracellular circulation and extracellular circulation let us talk about a intra cellular circulation and second i said extra cellular circulation first of all let me tell you about the intra cellular circulation name itself indicate intra stands for inside cellular stands for the cell circulation stands for the transportation or distribution intra cellular circulation practically seen in all living cells of multicellular animals try to understand 
intracellular circulation practically seen in all living cells of multicellular animals multicellular animals बहुपेशीय प्राण्यांच्या प्रत्येक पेशीमध्ये हे इंट्रासेल्युलर सर्क्युलेशन आढळतंस इन एडिशन टू दैट इट इज सीन इन प्रोटोजोम्स सच एज अमीबा पॅरामेशियम एटसेट्रा नाउ व्हाट डज इट मीन लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू कंसीडर हियर इज सपोज टू बी युनिसेल्युलर ऑर्गनिझम दैट इज पॅरामेशियम यू नो इट इज अ प्रोटोजोम सिंगल सेल ऑर्गनिझम now in this unicellular organism and i said practically in all living cells of multicellular animals there is a regular streaming of cytoplasm within the cell there is a regular streaming of cytoplasm within the cell ya thikani me aprutti cha madatine dakhavto hai पेशीमध्ये सेलमध्ये असणारा जो पेशी द्रव्य आहे सायटोप्लाझम आहे त्याचं रेग्युलर स्ट्रीमिंग हे होत असतं इन सायक्लिक फॅशन सायक्लिकली अँड दॅट्स वाय दिस रेग्युलर स्ट्रीमिंग ऑफ सायटोप्लाझम टेकिंग प्लेस इन द सेल इन सायक्लिक फॅशन इज ऑल्सो नोन ॲज सायक्लॉसिस सायक्लॉसिस दिस सायक्लॉसिस ऑर इंट्रासेल्युलर सर्क्युलेशन it helps in the distribution of different materials throughout the cell vegvegle padarth he sampurna peshi madhe se oxygen nutrients they are distributed throughout the cell and also whatever waste materials are produced say carbon dioxide they are brought near the cell membrane je ka waste materials tayar hota te cell membrane parant anna sathi tacha upyog hoto and then that waste materials like carbon dioxide diffuses outside the cell across the cell membrane so this is all about the intracellular circulation but the most important and second type of fluid circulation is extracellular circulation let us talk about a second major type of fluid circulation that is extracellular fluid circulation now here name itself indicates extra stands for outside cellular stands for the cell circulation stands for the transportation so very obvious this type of fluid circulation does not involve the circulation of body fluid within the cell but it is seen outside the cell but within the body of that animal extracellular circulation is basically of again two types such as environmental fluid circulation and second body fluid circulation let me write extracellular circulation it is basically of two types such as environmental fluid circulation and body fluid circulation let us move to the environmental fluid circulation environmental fluid that is nothing but the water and hence the environmental fluid circulation is also known as water circulation this type of circulation is seen in lower invertebrates lower invertebrates that is water circulation is seen in sponges say for example scypha as well as in cylindrates say for example hydra you know that the organisms the animals belonging to phylum porifera are commonly referred as the sponges because of porous nature of their body a typical example is of scypha and cylindrates means the animals belonging to phylum cylindrata typical example is of hydra we know that these animals are aquatic 
these animals are aquatic. First of all, let us talk about the sponges, Scypha. In Scypha, the circulation, transportation of different materials within the body takes place with the help of water. It means the distribution of oxygen, nutrients as well as we can say the removal of carbon dioxide and other waste materials from body cells is carried out with the help of water and hence it is known as the water circulation. Let me teach you little bit more detail. Consider here is a diagram of Scypha. Here is the body wall of Scypha. You know that the body wall of Scypha or sponges show many small openings known as dermal ostia and a single large opening at the top known as osculum. Okay. Now, as far as concerned with the Scypha, it shows a typical and complicated tubular system. That tubular system consists of in-current canal, radial canal, ex-current canals and a body cavity that is nothing but the spongocele. It is known as the spongocele body cavity of sponge body cavity of Scypha. Suppose here is the tubular system I am going to show. So I said just now. that the Scypha shows tubular system and that tubular system consists of different components such as in-current canals, ex-current canals, radial canals and this body cavity that is nothing but the spongocele. Now here the oxygen and nutrients enter into the body of Scypha through this dermal ostia. The flagella of cells which form the lining of body cavity, which form the lining of spongiosteel, they bring about continuous beating and it facilitates the circulation of that water within the spongiosteel. I said dermal ostia madun, bahir pani, surrounding water that enters into the spongiosil through the tubular system in current, ex current canals as well as radial canals then it reaches into this body cavity spongiosil the lining of spongiosil consists of many flagellated cells and continuous beating of that flagellated cells bring about a streaming movement of water the flagellanchi satat beating zhalya mure water he tyadikani circulate hota transport hota pude dhakalla zhata aani tya mure tya paanya barbar alela jeka oxygen aani food material ahe nutrients se te pratek cell parenta pocho le zhata and the carbon dioxide and other waste materials are diffused out in the water now this water is expand outside the body through this large opening that is osculum. In this manner, in Scypha, the circulation, transportation of different materials is carried out with the help of environmental fluid that is nothing but the water circulation. Now, let us talk briefly about the hydra. We know that hydra, it is also freshwater aquatic animal. Its body is tubular. It is sedentary animal. It has a large opening at its top known as mouth which is encircled by tentacles. The body cavity of this hydra is known as gastrovascular cavity or silenteron. The silenteron is also internally lined by many ciliated cells. In this hydra, the surrounding water enters into the body cavity through this mouth. The beating of cilia facilitate the circulation or transportation of that water throughout the body cavity. 
which facilitates the supply of oxygen and nutrients to all the body cells while the carbon dioxide and waste material diffuses into this water and again that water is released out that water comes out of the body through the mouth in this manner in such lower invertebrates the transportation or circulation of different materials is brought about with the help of environmental fluid that is water so it is known as the water circulation of course it is extracellular circulation now come to the body fluid circulation आता आपण बॉडी फ्लूड सर्क्युलेशन कडे वळूया इन मोर ऍक्टिव्ह अॅनिमल्स दॅट इज इन हायर इनवर्टिब्रेट्स इन हायर इनवर्टिब्रेट्स ऍज वेल ऍज इन ऑल कॉर्डेट्स देअर इज बॉडी फ्लूड फॉर एफिशियंट ट्रान्सपोर्टेशन ऑफ डिफरंट मटेरियल्स बिकॉज इन ऍक्टिव्ह अॅनिमल्स द रेट ऑफ मेटाबॉलिझम इज ऑल्सो हाय अँड देअर फॉर इट रिक्वायर्स continuous constant supply of useful materials and removal of waste materials from the cell je jasta active animals ahe mate higher invertebrates astil kiwa chordates astil tancha madhe metabolism cha chaya pachay kriya cha dar ha jasta aslyamule tancha pratyek cell paryanto oxygen nutrients rapidly pochna ani त्या सेल्स मध्ये तयार झालेले वेस्ट मटेरियल्स तेवढ्याच वेगाने परत वाहून नेणं हे गरजेचं असतं अँड देअर फर इन दॅट अॅनिमल्स देर इज अ स्पेशलाइज बॉडी फ्लुईड विच ब्रिंग अबाउट दिस ट्रान्सपोर्टेशन विच ब्रिंग अबाउट दिस सर्क्युलेशन नोन ऍज बॉडी फ्लुईड सर्क्युलेशन देर आर फोर मेन टाइप्स ऑफ बॉडी फ्लुईड सर्क्युलेशन बॉडी फ्लुईड सर्क्युलेशनचे एकूण चार प्रकार आहेत सच ऍज फर्स्ट पॅरेन कायमल सर्क्युलेशन सेकंड बॉडी कॅव्हिटी सर्क्युलेशन थर्ड ब्लड सर्क्युलेशन अँड फोर्थ लिम्फ सर्क्युलेशन सो नाव लेट अस टॉक ब्रीफली वन बाय वन इच फर्स्ट पॅरेन कायमल सर्क्युलेशन फर्स्ट पॅरेन कायमल सर्क्युलेशन it is seen in flat worms you know flat worms means the animals belonging to phylum platyhelminthes typical example now the flat worms you know these are a silomid animals it means in these animals silom is absent true body cavity is absent we have studied in 11 and that's why let me show diagrammatically here i am going to show this is supposed to be the liver flow here is it supposed to be the mouth and this is its digestive system you know that the space between digestive system and body wall is referred as silom or body cavity but here the body cavity is completely filled by means of a specialized type of tissue known as parenchyma consider these are supposed to be the parenchymatous cells the parenchymatous cells are quite large irregular and show such many branching processes parenchymatous cells are quite large in size they are irregular in shape and show such many branching processes and thus the neighboring parenchymatous cells they form a sort of network like structure now the spaces present in between these parenchymatous cells remain filled by means of a fluid known as parenchymatous fluid parenchymatous fluid ya parenchyma prakar cha ja cells ahe tancha avti bhuti asnara ja kai thoda far pokle ahe tya eka drava padarthane fluid ne bharlela asta ani tela parenchymatous fluid mhanta and this parenchymatous fluid here is responsible for 
द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन और डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ न्यूट्रिय सर्कुलेशन नाउ लेट एस मूव टू द सेकेंड टाइप दट इज बॉडी कैविटी सर्क्युलेशन आता बॉडी फ्लूड सर्क्युलेशन चाहिए दुसरा प्रकार अपन शिकत बॉडी कैविटी सर्क्युलेशन लेट एस स्टॉप सेकेंड टाइप बॉडी कैविटी फ्लूड सर्क्युलेशन इट इज सीन इन राउंड वॉर्म्स फॉर एक्साम्पल अस्कैरिस राउंड वॉर्म्स अस्कैरिस इज सुडोसिलोमेट एनिमल सुडोसिलोमेट मीन्स दीज एनिमल्स शो फास्ट बॉडी कैविटी That is pseudocilum, pseudocilum and trosilum. Echad kai farak e te apad yanta akrave madhe shikle ga ho. Now here these animals are pseudocilumate means they show false body cavity. Let me explain you by drawing a diagram. Consider here is supposed to be elongated tubular body of Ascaris and this is supposed to be its viscera. or digestive system consider tube within tube body plan in 11th we have studied now whatever space is present between the viscera between the digestive system and body wall represents pseudocilum and this pseudocilum false body cavity remain filled by means of body fluid known as pseudo silomic fluid now here the transportation or circulation of different nutrients which comes from intestine which comes from alimentary canal are transported with the help of this pseudo silomic fluid up to each and every body tissue each and every tissue cell and hence it is known as the body cavity fluid circulation come to the next and third major type of body fluid circulation that is blood circulation let us move blood circulation it is seen in higher invertebrates that is from phylum annelida that is annelids onwards and all podids we know that the kingdom animalia is broadly divided into two major groups non chordata and chordata non chordata include all different phyla among which annelida it is one of the phylum then arthropoda mollusca echinodermata hemichordata these all are considered as higher invertebrates and then all chordates in these animals the blood circulation is seen it means there is a specialized type of body fluid that is blood which is responsible for the transportation of materials from one part to another part of the body now this blood may contain some carrier molecules that is hemoglobin hemocyanin janna apan respiratory pigments as samanto now this blood is pumped by means of pumping organ that is heart and then through the tubes blood vessels the blood is carried up to different body parts up to different tissue cells basically the blood circulation is carried out with the help of these three main component that is blood blood vessels and heart and therefore they togetherly form a system known as blood vascular system or may be known as blood circulatory system or may be known as the cardiovascular system artha ya tikane heart ha jari me ek component sangitla blood vascular system cha tari that heart is not always present in all these animals he je me atta animals udaharana dakhal ithe matle त्या सगळ्यांमध्येच हार्ट प्रेझेंट असेल असं नाही नाव आय सेट जस्ट दॅट द ब्लड 
blood vessels and heart togetherly form the blood vascular system or cardiovascular system and accordingly there are two main types of blood vascular system such as open and closed let us try to understand some basic differences between open and closed blood vascular system let me tell you here let us talk about the major differences between open blood vascular system or open blood circulation and closed blood vascular system or closed circulation let us talk in this system the blood flows in open tissue spaces as here the blood vessels are almost absent and therefore the blood it flows in body cavities open tissue spaces known as sinuses that's why actually this type of blood vascular system is known as the open blood vascular system why in closed blood vascular system the blood always flows in tubes that is blood vessels and that's why it is known as the closed type of circulation so we can say that in closed blood vascular system blood flows in blood vessels second difference in open blood circulation the blood flows quite slowly why in closed blood circulation the blood flows quite rapidly in open circulation blood flows in the blood has low pressure while in closed the blood has comparatively high pressure in open circulatory system the blood it comes in direct contact with the body cells because there is no blood vessel there are no boundaries so in open blood vascular system blood comes in direct contact with the body cells and therefore there is a direct exchange of different materials between the blood and body cells that is called blood and body cells the direct contact madhe et aslyamule ब्लड मध्य पदार्थ बॉडी सेल्स मध्य पदार्थ डायरेक्ट एक्सचेंज होर इज डायरेक्ट एक्सचेंज ऑफ मटेरि बिट्वीन द बॉडी सेल्स एंड ब्लड बट इन केस ऑफ क्लोज ब्लड वेस्कुलर सीस्टीम एज द ब्लड फ्लोज थ्रू द ब्लड वेसल्स एंड डज नॉट कम आउट ऑफ द ब्लड वेसल्स दैट्स वाय देर इज नो डायरेक्ट एक्सचेंज ऑफ मटेरि देर इज नो डायरेक्ट exchange of materials between blood and body cells and therefore in this type there is a medium there is a mediator known as interstitial fluid look consider here i have shown few body cells consider here is supposed to be the blood vessel here is the blood now whatever materials are brought by blood that diffuses out of the blood vessel blood capillary that comes into the interstitial fluid and from interstitial fluid that material diffuses into the body cells in the same manner the waste products formed in the body cells initially diffuses out into the body fluid that is interstitial fluid tissue fluid and then from tissue fluid it diffuses back into the blood it means in open blood vascular system there is direct contact of blood with each and every body cell and hence there is a direct exchange of materials between the blood and body cells but here there is no direct exchange of materials between the blood and body cell this exchange of material takes place via the interstitial fluid next open blood vascular system is less efficient and it is more efficient open blood vascular system it is seen in arthropods and 
most of the mollusks say cockroach a typical example we show open blood vascular system in most of the mollusk mollusk means the animals belonging to phylum mollusca why the closed blood vascular system it is seen in annelids and all vertebrates all vertebrates that is chordates so here we have understood the open and closed blood vascular system some of its major highlights come to the last one that is limb circulation apan ya thikani body fluid circulation che veg vegle prakar baktoy एक पैरेंकाइमल सर्कुलेशन बॉडी कैविटी सर्कुलेशन बॉडी कैविटी फ्लूड सर्कुलेशन ब्लड सर्कुलेशन एंड लिम्ब सर्कुलेशन वी पीपल हैव टू स्टडी अबाउट द लिम्ब इन डिटेल लैटरॉन टेम्पररली आई वांट टू टेल यू जस्ट लाइक द ब्लड लिम्ब इज आल्सो वन ऑफ द एक्स्ट्रा सेल्युलर फ्लूड एंड दैट लिम्ब अलोंग विद लिम्ब वेसल्स लिम्ब कैपिलरीज फॉर्म लिम्फेटिक सिस्टम through which the lymph and different materials are carried out it is seen in vertebrate animals about which we shall study later on in this manner in our today's lecture we have completed the introductory part of this major area that is circulation in animals so let us stop here today thank you and bye